and it's a homecoming weekend and the Wildcats of Arizona have come to Stanford to play the 18th ranked Cardinal here on Fox College Football. Craig Bower Jack along with Joel Klatt so glad you're with us double header day here on Fox and we start with Arizona and Stanford these are two teams Joel with two completely different styles of offense for Stanford it's all about power one of the biggest offensive lines in all of college football and they're going to lean on that run game there's no secret about it David Shaw wants to play power football in order to erase the memory of that loss to Washington 10 days ago. For Arizona, it's all about playing with great speed and great tempo. Arizona snaps the ball 88 times per game. That's second in the country. In order to do that, you got to have great quarterback play. They've gotten good quarterback play from Matt Scott. He's going to have to play his best game of the season today if they want to upset Stanford on the road. Petros Papadakis is our sideline insider, and Petros Stanford's run defense, one of the best in college football. Yeah, the Stanford football team, Bowler, has always been predicated on toughness in this new Jim Harbaugh, David Shaw era. But they've never been led by the defense. This year they are. David Shaw admitted this is probably the best Stanford defense of all time. Shane Scove, Chase Thomas, very good linebackers, great against the run. But how will they react to their first Pac-12 spread out team? We're about to find out. Petros will check in with you throughout the afternoon. Arizona's head coach, here he is, Rich Rodriguez, hired back in November, replacing Mike Stoops, and of course, bringing his high tempo offense to the desert. His counterpart today will be David Shaw, second year running the Stanford program, and is the reigning Pac-12 coach of the year. Both these teams coming off losses, Stanford losing to Washington 17-13. They were held, Joel, without an offensive touchdown. Arizona lost a 38-35 duel in the desert against Oregon State. And Oregon State, one of the big stories in Pac-12 football right now. Arizona has been in every game they played except for that blowout in Eugene against Oregon. I fully expect them to be in this game early. I think they may need a few turnovers early in this ball game to get some momentum going defensively. Stanford won the toss. They chose to receive homecoming is underway here in Stanford. And we've got a flag flying on that kickoff, so it's out of bounds. Today's Taco Bell impact players. Stephon Taylor, the running back for Stanford, Pac-12 player of the week a couple weeks ago against USC. He's a terrific back. Chase Thomas, their All-American captain on defense. He's the guy that's going to be flying around getting after quarterback Matt Scott when Arizona has the ball. So after that kick goes out of bounds, Stanford has a football with fine field position at the 35-yard line. Going to see this a lot today, the shifting. Offensive line going from the right side to the left side. Unique formations for Stanford offensively. Josh Nunez, number six out of Upland, California, junior under center. He's going to pitch it on to Stephon Taylor. Breaks one tackle and another. And picks up eight hard yards up to the 44-yard line. And let's take a look at today's Taco Bell impact players for Arizona. Kadeem Carey on offense, five and a half yards per carry, one of the most underrated players in this conference. And then Tremaine Bonneran, seven and a half tackles for loss, constantly behind the line of scrimmage in the opposing backfield. He's a guy that's going to have to play big today against Stanford, who runs the ball so well. Stanford only rushed for 65 yards against the Huskies. Their longest rush was seven. They just eclipsed that by nearly two yards on that first toss to Stephon Taylor. Delay, Taylor, a little stutter step. First down by about a half a yard. They'll mark him down at the 46-yard line. It's going to be so key for Arizona to tackle well. You can already see the elusiveness of Stephen Taylor. He's a guy who isn't so flashy, but you got to get hats to the ball carrier. Wrap him up, get him down to the ground. It's going to be a huge key for Arizona to stop this powerful team. One thing to watch, the front line of Stanford. They weigh in nearly 300 pounds per man, and they can move a pile. On first down at the 46. On the eye formation, Taylor gets a carry. Nice hold off the right side. And he'll push his way past the 40 to the 39. He followed the block of his fullback. 
Ryan Hewitt in Stanford. That run game was one thing that David Shaw told us we have to reestablish. It's very interesting. I mean, they really do have one of the more sophisticated run games in all of college football, and they're great at it. And those runs that you see, guys, going for three or four yards in the first quarter, what they want, leaning on the defense, is to bust those for about 11 and 12 yards in the third and fourth quarter. The run game continues. Oh, what a cutback, and then a spin by Taylor. What was looked to be no game picks up three yards of the 35-yard line. So important, Joel, to have a running back that can pick up yards after contact. And, and Taylor does that with great forward lean. Now he puts them in a situation where it's third down and short, and you can do anything you want. You can get in a big formation if you're Stanford here and turn around and hand the ball off. So a critical third down opportunity, but the entire playbook at their disposal. Already, they decide to spread things out here. Already seven plays, 30 yards in the books. Third down and short, shotgun, Nunes. They'll delay it. Taylor breaks the tackle 30 at the 20. Trying to stiff arm his way. And Arizona, that swarming defense, having to play a little catch up to chase down Stephon Taylor. That's a gain of 14. Look at Wilkes come around, and he's going to pull out in front of this run. The mobility of some of these big guys is really amazing, and Wilkes get the, gets the initial block at the line of scrimmage, which is going to bounce Taylor to the outside in order for the conversion and a first down. Well, Taylor is on this opening drive. He'll get the carry again. He's going right. He's going left. And this time past the 20 to the 18-yard line. Grandin, the free safety, makes the initial hit for Arizona. Petros, it seems like they're trying to establish this run game early, like they do every week, but after a loss especially. Well, they weren't able to really run the ball well against Washington. You guys have talked about that. That's who they are. That's their bread and butter. And if they can run the ball without Nunes completing a pass, they'll take it. They'll milk that clock and keep Matt Scott on the sideline. Two wide receivers set, Terrell and Montgomery. And then I formation, Nunes under center. Three-step drop, fires into the far side, and on the money, Ty Montgomery grabs his 16th catch of the season. Shaquille Richardson, the left corner, knocked him away out of bounds. I love what Pep Hamilton did right there, the, the play caller for Stanford, and the Andrew Luck director yes. of offense. Not the offensive coordinator, the Andrew Luck director of offense. He got an easy throw there. Petros, you just alluded to the fact they hadn't completed a pass on this series yet. They tried down the middle to Toilolo. Now they get the easy completion on the outside of Montgomery, and now Josh Nunes has a chance to settle into this ball game. Montgomery needs to settle in too. <laughs> they have put Zach Ertz on the field. They run that double tight set, sometimes three at a time. The play action, setting his feet, Nunes up top. Touchdown, Ertz. Second touchdown reception of the season. Ertz just came in. He's especially kind of tight end. He's 6'6", 252, and he outjumped Arizona in the end zone. I thought Nunez actually made a bad read because Ertz was open early out of the backfield on the wheel route, threw it late, got away with it because Ertz is 6'6". Extra point. Up and good. Jordan Williamson. Now 12 to 13, a celebration on early. Homecoming at Stanford. Ertz puts Stanford up by seven. 11 plays, 65 yards, five minutes and 32 seconds off the clock, and that 11-yard touchdown to Ertz. Taylor, by the way, on that drive, it was all about the run game until they got inside the red zone. Seven carries, Joel, for 35 yards. That offensive line already establishing themselves, and how about Zach Ertz? He catches a touchdown pass. Stanford is nine and one. So already a good omen for the Cardinal. Williamson punches that ball deep. Out of the end zone. No opportunity for a return for Arizona. 
And let's check out today's Dodge Ram keys to victory. For Arizona, I would start with the fact they've got to force turnovers. That's the way that they got themselves into the game against Oklahoma State when they pulled off the upset earlier this year. They've got to do the same today. For Stanford, they've got to create deep threats. That was a common theme when we talked with the coaching staff. In order to get the defense off of their run game, Josh Nunez has got to go down the field. We've already seen him complete a couple of passes, one of them a touchdown to Zach Ertz. Our first chance to see Matt Scott, a senior out of Corona, California. He's been battling with some hip and ankle injuries, moving well early as he tosses that ball to his fullback. That's Totoji. Out of Chula Vista, California. Don't always see the 260-pound no, man try to no. go up and over. No, you notice. I'm him. sure Terrence Brown was surprised by that move. Yeah, he had he'd gotten in tackle position, and he did not expect the big fella to, to try to high hurdle him. We go back to action. As Arizona rumbles up the middle to the 35-yard line, looks to be enough for a first down. Kadeem Carey, he averages 107 yards a game. And, and Joel, what really is impressive is his his per carry average, 5.5 yards every time he touches a football. I think it's a misconception when you talk fast tempo, you automatically think, well, they just throw it all the time. That's not the case. Arizona averages 194 yards a game on the ground, so they will stay committed to handing football off. They spread the field with three wide receivers. Quick hit far side. It's off the hands of Austin Hill, the slot back. And so on first down, Arizona comes up empty. This is the sixth ranked offense in college football, 538 yards a game. Joel, you mentioned earlier, 88 plays a game. That's the average, and the average 31 first downs a game. Those 31 first downs, best in the country. The 88 plays, second in the country to Marshall. So they know how to play up tempo for Rich Rodriguez. Matt Scott on second down, pressure from the side. Oh, trying to thread the needle. Nice throw, but through the hands of Dan Buckner. Here it's 7 nothing. Stanford. Scott took a hit, and he finds Daniel Jenkins right at midfield. But how about Scott? You're an old quarterback. He stood in there and took some punishment. And he knew he was going to get hit. Chase Thomas, the All-American, barreling down on him. He just gets throttled right there in the pocket, but has the courage to stand in, Craig, and deliver the ball with accuracy to move the chains. That's an incredible throw from Matt Scott. And that ends the first quarter here at Stanford. Cardinals strike first and early. They're up seven on Fox. Now 15 minutes of football played here at Stanford on homecoming and the Cardinal up by seven as we start quarter number two. Craig Wolitzak, Joel Klatt, Petros Papadakis. Quick throw in traffic. That ball may have been deflected and it's incomplete. Petros, it just doesn't look like the wide receivers are on the same page at all with Matt Scott. Well, remember, Matt Scott, even though he's a really good fit for Rich Rodriguez, and to be frank, Rodriguez was lucky to have him here, he's still a first-year quarterback in this system. Second down and 10. Scott, again under pressure, comes to carry. He takes a hard hit from behind out of the 44-yard line. Wayne Lyons, the right corner, came in for the tackle. Scott, seven for 13 so far, but a lot of those incompletions weren't his fault. Miscommunications or drop balls on the outside. Scott back to throw again, finds a man over the middle. What a catch. Now Johnny Jackson took one right in the middle and somehow hung on. That's what I'm talking about. A guy going up top, getting the ball, knows he's going to get hit, brings it down anyways. That's a quarterback's best friend right there. That Scott trying to run option. Pulls that ball out of the belly, then throws far side for about a yard loss. Johnny Jackson, who just made that terrific catch over the top, over the middle, loses one back to the 44-yard line. Second down. Scott, man covered, blocks it up. Cut! Over the shoulder! Brought down, what a great throw. Over the shoulder grab down at the 13-yard line of Dan Buckner. What a target at 6'4. 
the senior from Allen, Texas. And again, Matt Scott knows he's about to get hit, stands in the face of pressure. That's incredibly difficult to do, to get the power and loft on that ball, the touch on that ball needed, even when the defender is right in your face as a quarterback, and a good ad adjustment on the ball by Dan Buckner to keep his body and his feet in bounds. A gain of 31, the reception confirmed by the replay official. Up the middle, Arizona, and touchdown, Kadeem Carey. I don't know if a Cardinal got a hand on him. He found the opening and scooted through his eighth rushing touchdown, 13 yards. Just a huge hole for Kadeem Carey in the middle of that Stanford defense. Way too easy from outside the 10-yard line. Touchdown, Wildcats. John Bonanno will try to tie this game up with seven. Very impressive offensive series for the Wildcats. And the extra point is up with good. Arizona finds the end zone. Kadeem Carey, 7-7 seven, seven here at Stanford. 12.06 to play first half, and Arizona 7-7 seven, seven tie now after 12 plays, 81 yards. Eighth touchdown, scamper of the season for Carey. About 12 plays, Joel. Already Arizona, 23 plays. That, that was more than half their total plays on that drive. On well, the most important part, under three minutes, they got their tempo going, and you can see that take effect on the Stanford defense. Right back to him. Outside he goes, puts down his pads, and leans forward to the 49. And again, out front, Ryan Hewitt has popped him free a couple of times. The fullback, number 85. Watch Ryan Hewitt go and block the end. This is a terrific block. It opens up the hole. And that's what Taylor then curls under and gets himself to the outside to find the green grass to run. Ryan Hewitt, one of the more underrated fullbacks in all of the country. Good receiver out of the backfield, but even blo better blocker on the edge. Second down, three, play action, the blitz. Luna steps out of trouble, throws across the middle, and it's incomplete. Dangerous throw. Cody Whitfield, number nine, was kind of slicing across the middle, but Bondurant was bringing some pressure on top of Nunes. Completely unblocked. It looks like Hewitt, who I was just speaking of the fullback, he had a misassignment in protection. Nunes stepped away, but then the pressure was able to get to him, and he was unable to get anything on that throw to get it down the field over the middle. Third down. Stanford thus far, two out of four on third down conversions in this game. Pressure up the middle. Just got the ball away incomplete. And Nunes taking some heat. Arizona may be the smaller club, but you know what? They're still bringing it up front. They're having a really hard time right now. Arizona brought more players than Stanford could block. That means that the quarterback is hot in protection. Toilolo was wide open on the back side where the blitz came from. That's a side adjust or hot route. A lot of offenses called. That ball's got to go to Toilolo. Josh Nunez is struggling right now. Zaklinski with the putt. High hanger. Morrison lets it bounce and it takes a ricochet and a touchback into the end zone. Stanford scored early. It was a touchdown toss. Nunes to Ertz. Beautiful catch in the corner. Kadeem Carey came right back. We're tied at seven. Stanford and their offense. Struck early. And now Arizona has a little swagger. Scott runs, throws, finds his fullback. It's out of his hands and out of bounds. Incomplete. Brings up second down. Lots of drops so far for Arizona. The drive that they did execute, catch the ball. They were able to move right down the field, get some first downs, and ultimately score a touchdown on the Kadeem Carey run. So important for them to execute against Stanford. When they have the opportunity, they must bring it down. Play action. Over the top, ball down. Now, did he have possession? Did he make a football move? That I ball is down at I the 36-yard line. The ground? Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that ball ever hit the ground. And then it came right. And then right. it came back to Totogi. That's T a catch. Totogi makes that catch as he was on his back. Goes Arizona goes right back to work and a quick throw on a slant. Scott finds Johnny Jackson who's had a nice first half and he picks up maybe nine. They'll bring up second down and short as the clock is rolling up on 10 minutes to play in the first half. Matt Scott glances to the sideline. Low snap, quick throw near side. Jackson. He's found himself a favorite wide receiver here in quarter number two. Jackson with another grab at midfield. He only had eight receptions coming into the game. Redshirt freshman from San Diego. And he's only 5'10", 179 pounds, but he's already shown Matt Scott that he'll go across the middle and catch the ball. That's confidence in a wide receiver. Arizona hurries up, five wide receiver split. Oh, coming strong. Barry Browning, the right corner, number 31, lead the wood on Austin Hill. Now these wide receivers are making some plays, but Matt Scott is going to have to start protecting them the ball is way too high for some of the windows that he's throwing in. he's got to get them down around their frame so that they can protect themselves against the defense Scott goes back to work rolls to his right throws just pitch and catch Dan Buckner with the reception here's an example of what I'm talking about he knows that there's a corner sitting outside and that ball is way above the head of the wide receiver very dangerous throw you can't put your wide receiver in position to get hurt like that Matt Scott's going to have to bring him down like he did on this previous play to Dan Buckner for a first down. A double stack both sides of the field with wide receivers. They hand the ball off. That's Carey, who carries it to about the 27-yard line. A.J. Tarpley, the inside backer with the tackle. They've already had five drop passes, and yet Matt Scott still 17 of 26 for 141 in this ball game. He's clearly found a rhythm, and he's gotten some plays made by Totogi and Jackson down the field. He gets knocked hard out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Petros, this offense clearly in a rhythm. Matt Scott throwing the ball very well. That's what's interesting to me, Joel, is they've gotten out of the rhythm. They had the review. They had a batted down pass. And then they've been able to recapture it, the fourth down conversion. That's really saying something about Matt Scott and what Rich Rodriguez is doing with this Wildcat offense. They're looking better and better as the game goes on. On third down at 12. down inside the two yard line that is Ed Reynolds a free safety who put a shoulder right on the hip of Terrence Miller again a high throw into a dangerous part of the field down the middle especially in the red area the safeties are going to be more aggressive in the red area that brings up fourth and 12 as we're back at Stanford Bonanno will try a field goal he's missed his last three attempts this will be placed down to the 24, a 34 yarder. So Bonanno in a slump. Let's see if he can break out of it here from 34. Right hash. A snap, the hole's down, the kick's away. And from 34 yards, it's good. And but the field goal stands. And Arizona on the road. Up by three. Stanford will take a knee and start at the 25 yard line. That's going to be difficult for him and for them because he was playing so well. To the 40 yard line. You know, we talked about big matchups. I mean, every week, I feel like there's always something out there to, to gravitate to. But LSU and Florida, Georgia, South Carolina later on tonight. Of course, West Virginia and Texas. Geno and company against the Longhorns in Nebraska and Ohio State as Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes are at home. Those are just a few of the big games to watch about college football. A one-hopper incomplete on the far side. 
Tilolo was the intended receiver. Hard to miss him. He's 6'8. Petros, right, and Josh Nunes just has no confidence right now. You can tell in his drop back, the throws are low, not very accurate with the ball. That's the interesting thing to me, Joel, and I got to ask you, I mean, this is six starts in for Josh Nunes, and even in victories over USC and San Jose State, he's had spells where he's lacked confidence. When does it start for him? When is it going to click? You've got to have success. Until you have a, a huge amount of success, it's very tough to draw on anything, and Josh Nunes hasn't had that yet. His team has won, but he hasn't had that big game for himself to draw upon mentally. Third down, shotgun, pressure, stands up top. Tolo makes a move, cuts it at the 20, stiff arms, and inside the 15. I just mentioned it's good to be 6'8". What a big target, Levine Tololo. And now Stanford is moving the football inside the 20-yard line. They tried to get a jam on Toy Lolo at the line of scrimmage, but it never happened. Hank Hobson, who's the outside linebacker, was in man-to-man -man coverage. And as soon as he whipped, it was wide open for Toy Lolo down the field. And an easy completion for a struggling Josh Nunez. That's the most important part of that play. Now a quarterback gaining some confidence. Back to the ground. Taylor. Swarmed underneath. At the 12 yard line. Oh, it's amazing. On cue, you and Petros were talking about the confidence of Nunez. And he needed it. Yes, he did. He only had 18 completions uh, against Washington for 177 yards. And I mentioned earlier, his completion rate in the last two games under 50%. Second down, eight. Situation. Toy Lolo is 6'8, 265 pounds, and when the quarterback has protection, that's an easy target to find. Nice concept by Pep Hamilton. The corner of the end zone, easy completion, and Toy Lolo gets the second touchdown for Stanford. Toy Lolo, his second touchdown reception of the season. Jordan Williamson boots the extra point. And all of a sudden, Josh Nunes has found confidence. His last two throws on the money. And Stanford up by four. Stanford goes 75 yards on eight plays to take the lead. And no return for Arizona. If you're not tough, as he told us, you don't play at Stanford. I don't care if you're a five-star recruit. Toughness, the number one issue you have to have if you're a Stanford Cardinal. Up over the top, Johnny Jackson. And he'll bring it close to midfield at the 49-yard line. Yeah, I love what they do right here. I just told you there's a true freshman corner on the field and Alex Carter, number 25, and they go right after him with a wheel concept. The inside receiver getting into his zone and now a 26-yard completion and the first first down of the series. So important for Arizona. Five wide receivers. They stretch the field. Scott throws, the pads hit, and Austin Hill, the slot, with the catch near the first down marker. If I'm Arizona, I'm, I'm going to throw to my left until Stanford does something to help out their true freshman. Now, he's a good player, Alex Carter is, from Ashburn, Virginia. But you just, he's a true freshman. He hasn't been out there enough. The protection up high, the jump, and the catch by Slavin. And he is being wrestled down. And it takes one, two, three, four, Cardinal. So finally knock him out of the 24-yard line. It was Alex what, Carter who hit him first. I don't know what they're doing. Blow the whistle. We talk about protecting players. You have an opportunity right there. His momentum is clearly stopped. Blow the whistle. Get the play dead and put the ball back on the hash mark. Poor job of the by the officials on that play. Another first down for Arizona. As the clock now is under a minute to play. Here in the first half. Scott sets it up far on his side. The ball on the hands of Carey at the 21-yard line. Chase Thomas with the tackle. Time. 
Stanford up by four. Arizona trying to get on the board before halftime. Scott, good protection throws. And getting out of bounds is Austin Hill at the 11. So they've got time. Arizona has a timeout if needed. 34 seconds to play. And they can use the sideline to their advantage. They keep going to that left side. We talked about the true freshman Alex Carter. Addison Bachman, by the way, 54 the center. He came up very slow. Looked like he's dealing with some sort of left arm problem. He's still in there. He's the center. Let's watch the snap. First and goal, Arizona. Scott throws. And out of the hands. Good coverage. He threw into double coverage. Buckner had it on the number, but it popped free thanks to Barry Browning. A lot of traffic in front of Buckner, but Buckner, I thought, still had a chance. Petros, that ball was right on his frame. I'm really impressed with Scott. I mean, he's taken some huge hits, and he's shown a lot of poise and toughness running this Arizona offense, and here they have a great chance to take the lead. Second down goal. Scott sets his feet, goes up. Oh! the back edge of the end zone. He wanted Austin Hill just a little bit out in front. It was too open for Matt Scott. He had him. And you see how he faded away from his throw. When you fade back, the ball sails because you don't get that follow through in it and the nose never comes down. That's how he didn't complete that ball for a touch. He's going to want that throw back. That was wide open for Arizona. Third down to goal. Damper showing blitz. Play action, Scott up top in traffic. Climb on the ladder, incomplete out of bounds. Austin Hill went up high, but he was knocked out. Chase Thomas came with pressure, and that forced a tough throw by Scott. I think that's why the throw was elevated a little bit and didn't allow the receiver to get his foot down quite in time. Good play by the cornerback, Barry Browning coming over, and that hit. I thought that left foot might have been able to get down if he didn't hit him, but the trajectory after he hit him didn't allow the foot to come down. Great defensive play from Stanford. Bonanno, who's hit a 34-yarder earlier in this quarter, will try a 33-yard attempt. High snap again. The kick is up from 33, and it is good. A couple of field goals by Bonanno. Halftime, 14-13 the Cardinal. On top of the Wildcats, let's send you now to the Pizza Hut Halftime Report. Here's Aaron. Just moments away from the second half here at Stanford. And the Cardinal lead 14-13 over the Arizona Wildcats. Craig Bowler, Jack, Joel Klatt. You're here from Petros Papadakis here in just a couple of moments. Uh, we talked about these offenses and how they differ. And both teams kind of felt one another out a little bit. A little, little punch here, a little jab there early. I, I thought that it was about the rhythm of the two quarterbacks, or really the entire first half. When Matt Scott was able to get some rhythm, their last three possessions, they were able to put points on the scoreboard in each of those possessions. And for Josh Nunez on the other side, he started off very good, especially with help from Stephon Taylor, running the football, and then he had that completion in the end zone to Zach Ertz for the first touchdown pass. It wasn't until he stepped up later in the second quarter and started throwing the ball down the field that they got their rhythm back and ultimately took the lead 14-10 before Arizona's final field goal. What jumps out you on these uh, halftime stats? I would say just the, the, the number of first downs for Arizona. 31 they're averaging coming into this game and now they've got their 16 basically halfway there. 51 total plays. That's too many snaps for Stanford's defense to be on the field. We saw them starting to get worn down at the end of the first half. Arizona will have the football to start this second half of play. Now, it, it, the first, the first three series, Joel, interesting for Matt Scott. Not a lot of confidence, but then he found his rhythm late. Oh, Stanford yeah. had their rhythm early and then fell off with back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back punts, and then they found a little rhythm in the second quarter. Matt Scott had some guys step up. Now, after scoring on their last three possessions of the first half, they get the ball back. And they'll get it at the 25 now to start the second half. Let's check in with Petros Papadegas, and you had a chance to talk one-on-one uh, -on -one with Rich Rodriguez, Pete. Well, first of all, with his offense, Bowler, it's just like Joel's been saying. He wants to get that first first down, and he says once they get it, Matt Scott can get into a rhythm. He's happy with that. The defense, as you guys know, is depleted, but he thinks they're battling. He's happy. Didn't like the big plays to Toy Lolo, but Bowler, just like you said, 
It's good to be six foot eight. <laughs> Indeed. Those are the first half possessions. Punt, punt. And then the rhythm started to come around. A couple of field goals along the way. And it's a one point game as we start the third quarter. Oh, great throw. And a catch leaning out is Austin Hill at the 33 yard line. 42 pass attempts now for Matt Scott here in this ball game. And over 220 yards. On the ground, and they push the pile maybe for a yard. Can even carry. Let's go back and look at that catch. This was really close as wide receiver lays out. I think there wouldn't have been enough to overturn that, but really close uh, to a catch, no catch. A little shovel, far side, trying to turn the edges, carry and pushes. I love the effort. Past the 45 to the 46 yard line. Petrus, how about the power from Kadeem Carey? Very versatile. I'm telling you, this guy's one of the most overlooked players in the entire Pac 12, and he's a one stop shop as a back. Great feet, aggressive, good size, catches the ball well. He's big time. Came in with 14 receptions, nearly 540 yards off the ground. Out of Tucson, only a sophomore. Fresh downs for Arizona. Scott pulls that ball out of the belly, then throws it far side of the 40-yard line. Right on the button is Buckner. And Matt Scott and Dan Buckner, after struggling early with their timing, are clearly in rhythm now. The entire second quarter, and now to open the third, they've thrown those rhythm passes where Scott is delivering the ball before Buckner's out of his break for completions. Carry. Guess who was out blocking? Matt Scott. Hey, man, he gets hit enough in the <laughs> pocket. What's he doing? Petros, tell him not to go out there. You grab him on the sidelines. You tell him. This guy's a football player, and he ran the ball so much at Corona Centennial High School in Southern California. That's what he's used to doing. He wants to get physical. That's not a good wrestler. He's a, he's a quarterback. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Matt Scott, he came in with 230 yards on the ground. Pretty nice average of nearly four and a half yards a carry. Quick throw, slam. Miller breaks it inside, and they're going to mark him down at the one-yard line. Beautifully thrown ball. Miller slices inside, and a big frame at 6'4", two and a quarter. I love the way they're attacking Stanford. They have completed so many inside slant routes towards the safeties that the defense has gotten closer and closer towards the middle of the field. Then they expose the outside with a slant. Carry the ball carrier. In. Touchdown, Arizona. They're not going anywhere. Playing ranked opponents, nothing new for this ball club. It's their third straight week. Carey walks in for a touchdown, and too easy for the Wildcats on the first season, first series of the second half. A statement drive, less than two minutes off the third quarter clock, and Bonanno. Well, kick it up and good. Arizona marches downfield. They've got the lead of six on Stanford. What a statement drive. Arizona, seven plays, 75 yards, Joel. One minute, 54 seconds off the clock, capped off by the one-yard run by Kadeem Carey. And Stanford needs to be concerned because that's four straight scoring drives for Arizona. They have not been stopped since late in that first quarter. Matt Scott in a great rhythm. They didn't play small, did they, on no, that drive? No, they did not. They played big. Two yards deep, Ty Montgomery breaks it out. He's chopped down at the 15. Let's see what Stanford will do on this first series. Arizona, the swarming defense. Back in that backfield of the Cardinal. Jake Fisher right inside. Now they started Impressive jolt with a touchdown three straight punts and then a touchdown before halftime Other than that though. It, it really wasn't all that impressive five plays a three and out four plays Stanford and Josh Nunes were struggling to find themselves in that first half And then they come out and immediately gain no yards on a wrong play So not a good recipe right now for the Cardinal Second down after no game they bring pressure from the corner Tough pass. That catch looked like it was made on the top of the helmet. Tololo, if he, that is a reception 
and he picked that ball off the top of Jake Fisher's hat. This ball was a little bit underthrown. That's why it's on the back of the linebacker. But what an athletic move from Toy Lolo. This guy is absolutely incredible. We've seen some fantastic tight ends already in this season, including Washington's terrific Austin Safarian Jenkins. But I got to tell you, Levine Toy Lolo is right up there with him. What a terrific threat down the middle of the field. That's his third catch now for 80 yards. He had the touchdown in the first half. Stanford moving the football after that great reception. Nunes looking for more out of the pocket. There's a catch underneath. And up ended is Zach Ertz. Boy, what a couple of tight ends. And they were both that open. Stanford on this. has. They were both open on this play. Toy Lolo across the bottom of the formation. And then over the top, Ertz coming wide open over the middle of the field. I like what Nunez did. He stepped up, kept his eyes downfield, and then delivered the strike. Allowed Ertz to run. Uh, pick up a 16. Play action. Wide open. Nunez has a man. Toledo inside the 10, and they'll knock him down to the 6. Jonathan McKnight saved the touchdown. And right now, the Cardinal tight ends are winning the war against Arizona. Just a corner route from the left tight end, and it was a blown coverage from the get-go. Number six, Jonathan McKnight, the corner. He bit on the heavy play-action fake and allowed Toy Lolo to run free down the left side of the field. 42-yard gain, first and goal at the five-yard line. Taylor in the backfield. That ball's out. And Nunes looks like he was quick to recover and pounce on that football. And maybe gained a yard or two on the play. <laughs> he might he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, you're right, but you don't often see with a fumble. Terrible feeling for a quarterback to see that ball, especially on the center quarterback exchange, pop straight up like that. Just trying to get it. And they had a guard pulling at the same time. Nunes does the smart thing, dives on it right away to gain possession. First and goal. So first and goal. Clock runs up on 11 minutes here in the third. Arizona took the opening kick to start their second half, scored. And Arizona is trying to hold Stanford out of the end zone. There's a diving Nunes. and legs of Nunes. Stanford answers the opening touchdown from Arizona up and over the top. Power football from the quarterback to give Stanford their third touchdown of the day. And we're tied at 20, the PAT to come. Williamson and kicks it up and through and the Cardinal answer. Arizona, Nunes catching some air. That's his first rushing touchdown of the season, and the Stanford Cardinal up by one. Third quarter with 10.51 remaining. Back and forth we go. Stanford 21, Arizona 20. And the big targets of Stanford, very uh, impressive corral of tight ends. Uh, Zach Ertz only the two catches, but he has scored a touchdown. Toy Lolo is the one who's really emerged, and he's a versatile player. Petros, you love the way he bends. Yeah, he bends his body for a guy that tall. That's unbelievable. And a very underrated run block. Kick away. Five yards deep. No return. And a knee by Daniel Jenkins. They stack it two deep, both sides of the field. First and ten, Arizona on the ground. Breaking one tackle and another for the hard running. Of Arizona, could he carry? I'll tell you, he weighs 197. He runs like he's two, two and a quarter. And I think that I echo what Petros has said about Kadeem Carey. He is a very solid back all around. Protection run the game, in the run game, in the pass game. Picked up nearly nine to go right back to him first down.
down past midfield to the 48. And we're seeing him featured a little bit more on this series. Petros, maybe that's because Matt Scott threw the ball so much they opened up the middle of that field. Well, he threw the ball 41 times in the first half. Eddie George referenced it at halftime. He might be on pace for 80. That's why they're running the ball now. 80 attempts. That's nuts. 65 yards for Kadeem Carey. Back to the air. Wide open. And on the hands of Austin Hill. That's a nice football thrown by Matt Scott. Up and over. And right now, Arizona seems like they are just cutting a hot knife through butter on this uh, Stanford defense. When Wayne Lyons, the sophomore corner, dropped off that corner route, bang, the ball was there over the top. Daniel Jenkins, number three alongside Scott. First and ten. Scott sets his feet. Throws. Touchdown! Thread the needle. You betcha. Austin Hill with a great grab in the end zone. Rolling to his left to set his feet. Matt Scott throws back across his body to hit Hill in the back of the end zone. That is exceptionally hard to do. It takes great footwork from a quarterback. Scott had it on the last play. Delivers the strike for the touchdown. Low snap, kicks off. Bonanno. How about this one? Arizona 27, Stanford 21 on box. And so far, the Cardinal Joel in this third quarter, they've had no answer. Arizona marching down for back to back touchdowns. Stanford answered with one of their own. Ty Montgomery brings it out. Oh, he took a lick. He's down at the 15 yard line. Fresh downs just inside the 40 yard line. Under three and a half minutes to play in the third. Oh, low snap picked up Nunes. He'll stand in the pocket again. Up top, got man wide open. Had it, caught it inside the 10 yard line. Jamal Rashad Patterson. He backs up Montgomery and grabs his third reception of the season and a really accurate deep ball from Nunez right on the chest of his wide receiver Rashad Patterson hits him in stride inside the 10 yard line and exactly the recipe for Stanford all day long it hasn't just been run the football they've needed big plays out of Nunez in the past game in order to set themselves up for touchdowns and now the Wildcats Stephon Taylor set to receive the snap hikes the leg Looks for an opening. Stephon Taylor heads to the edge. The pass crashed to the five-yard line. That was a 54-yard completion watch, on that last play. Watch Bondrin. He's going to come all the way from his backside to chase down Stephon Taylor. This is hustle right here. Backside, backside. Here he comes. Looks like he's going to get there. Taylor runs out of it. That's great hustle from Tremaine Bondrin. And off Taylor inside. Touchdown, Stanford. And the Cardinal answer. A huge play down the field. Hewitt in the game as a fullback. Ryan Hewitt, number 85. And just as Petros mentioned, when he's in the game, they've been able to run the ball in between the tackles. And they do it from outside the five yard line to get it into the end zone. And Williamson set to put Stanford on top. We're tied at 27 with the PAT. Kick is good, and the Cardinal regained the lead on a homecoming day. Here on Fox. Beautiful day. Some clouds yesterday scattered. Today really cleared off as we kicked it away. And another kick. Jennings, no return. Arizona will start at their own 25 yard line. 28 27, Stanford on top. They set up a screen, their side. And still on the run through traffic. Carey carries a couple of Cardinal to the 45 yard line. This young man has been dynamite both on the ground and through the air. Petros, this guy is sensational, and it's clear 
Stanford struggling last year over the last couple of years with Oregon and Oklahoma State. Stanford is not built to stop the spread. Jackson gets off the field, back to action. As Kadeem Carey wiggles his way past midfield to the 49. Henry Anderson, the defensive end, made the initial hit. I've been impressed with Carey's ability for yards after contact. He just On never two. stops, no, does it's, he? It's no, amazing. He's, he's a much, he's a durable back. back at 5'10", 197. From the gun, Scott got a man far side of the field. Austin Hill, the slot. In Arizona right now in this third quarter, Joel, up and down the field. They're knocking on the door at the 21-yard line. And it started in the second quarter, a blown coverage from Stanford. The outside linebacker, Trent Murphy, number 93, thinks he's dropping back to the middle of the field. Clearly a blown coverage and a missed assignment. Austin Hill, wide open. 27-yard gain again. It's out to the far side on the hands of Buckner. And he's driven out by one, two, three, four, Cardinal. Arizona. by Scove and company. That was the 76th snap for Arizona. This Stanford defense, look at it, hands on their hips. They're tired. Even a guy like Scove, who never gets tired. Trent with his, Trent Murphy hands on his hips. They're tired right now. They average 88 snaps a game, and they're getting, they're going to bypass it at this rate. Play action, quick throw, up top, touchdown, Austin Hill. What a dart off the hand of Scott. What a pass off of the play action. Steps up, and that's framing the football right on the face mask of Austin Hill. That's a tough throw. He made that look way more easy than it actually is, and U of A is going to go for two here, trying to get a little separation between them and the Cardinal. What a throw. My goodness. Right on the face mask of Hill. Scott from the gun. Throws off the hands. Slavin. And the two point conversion fails. And it's 33 28 Arizona. Just out of his reach. Selfishly, as a former quarterback, I'm thinking to myself, hey, maybe he should have come up with, <laughs> <laughs> with that one. Kicks away to Tom Montgomery. Dangerous fourth best kick returner in the nation. And here's why. He fakes his way to the 30 yard line. Averages nearly 28 yards a kick return. And he runs it up to the 30. Trying to go out there and play offense without Stephon Taylor is going to be very tough for Josh Nunes in this offense. Ramon Wright, a redshirt freshman out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, gets the call at running back. How about that? As he dances his way for 15. And it took a host of Arizona Wildcats to bring him down. And how about this? Right on cue, Taylor takes a jog out of the Stanford locker room. And Pep Hamilton, the offensive co coordinator, has got to be thinking to himself, can we get him in for this play? I mean, he wants him out there as quickly as he possibly can. That's good news for Stanford. Nice run by Wright. Picks up 15. First down, Stanford. At the 45 yard line, under a minute to go in this wild third quarter. Kelsey Young in motion. He's got the ball, breaks the tackle. 30, 25, 20, Young, five, touchdown! doesn't need Stephon Taylor a quick strike drive from Stanford Cardinal wow that was fast my goodness they didn't have to go to their tight ends they went to backups with Wright and Kelsey Young and they find the end zone and that Stanford Cardinal sideline has erupted Stanford will go for two, and they set up on the power. But the throw, isolation up top, ball knocked down. Koilolo at 6'8". Again, they try to jump him up high, and Arizona was there to defend the pass, led by McKnight, the right corner. 
Not a bad option trying to go to 6 8 265. But the corner Jonathan McKnight just did a great job of going up high. Look, he has to jump. I mean, this is this is mismatch at his finest. One guy has to jump. One guy's still flat on his feet. But McKnight wins the battle. Arizona, this is status quo for them. They've already got 478 yards of offense, over 400 through the air with Matt Scott. They're coming back on the field. They have not been stopped much this entire game since the second quarter started. Williamson kicks it away. And no return for Arizona. They'll start at the 25 yard line. Matt Scott goes back to work. Final seconds of the third. They throw it out to the flat. Wide open. It's old. Hit a wall. And here they go again. This tempo has been very quick. They were feeling their way out in the first quarter a little bit. And then once they start getting some success, it has been fast. I mean very fast. That was their 79th snap of the game. Oh, this will be their 80th snap of the game when we come back for the first snap of the fourth quarter. A lot of emotion. Look at them running. They're spreading. They're not even tired. Emotional day. High scoring. Stanford 34. Arizona 33. On to the fourth we go on Fox. 15 minutes of play here at Stanford. Craig Bowler Jack, Joel Platt, head coach Pat Medakis, the first of two. A doubleheader day here on Fox. Later, West Virginia, Texas. Gus Johnson, Charles Davis. Well, he's found some rhythm today as he throws that ball to carry. And Petros, Matt Scott right now seems to really be in rhythm and really has an understanding of what Rich Rodriguez expects. It's very interesting the way it happened because he was supposed to be the starter after Willie Tuatama, and then Mick Foles came in and started. So last year, Mike Scoops decided to redshirt him. He ends up getting fired, and here he is for you as a senior, Matt Scott running Rich Rod's offense pretty brilliantly. Over 400 yards, passing, looking for more. Good protection, slings it to the near side, and it's going to be whistled and completed the 40 out of bounds. It was Terrence Miller, the intended receiver, did not play the last two against Oregon and Oregon State because of injury. You know, when they've needed a big play, they've gone to that wheel concept with Austin Hill, or they've gone one-on-one -on -one with Dan Buckner. Dan Buckner, top of your screen. Austin Hill, the slot receiver at the bottom of your screen. Four wide receivers set again as Scott takes a glance at the sideline. Daniel Jenkins lines up alongside. Scott throws the dart over the middle. In traffic on the hands of Austin Hill. Beautiful throw. How he got it there, I don't know. At the 32 yard line. Yeah, it was a good throw. He definitely threaded the needle, but how about the catch? Hill goes back behind his body to make that catch off of his left shoulder. That's just terrific concentration. This kid has emerged as a star today. Carry cartwheels to the 26. Petros, it's clear. Stanford is going to have to outscore Arizona if they want to win because this Arizona offense is not to be stopped. Do you think they can? I mean, with Nunez having more confidence, throwing the ball over 20 yards to play right now, but can he mess with this? Quick throw, hot slam. Inside the 15 goes Buckner. You know, the difference maker, gentlemen, in this game could be a turnover, whether that is a, a fumble, an interception. But Ex right now, the execution by Matt Scott, I don't see a flaw. Yeah, execution is at a premium right now. You're exactly right. The wide receivers are running terrific routes and now making plays for Matt Scott, which they didn't do in the first quarter. From the gun, handoff. Trying to rip it out of the hands of Kadeem Carey. He's inside the 10, maybe the eight yard line. Henry Anderson made the initial hit, big number 91. Second down. Arizona trying to retake the lead. They go up top, and coverage in the end zone. Out of bounds. Did not get a foot down with Buckner. Barry Browning, about as good coverage, Joel, as you can expect. But he let him loose a little bit, but out of bounds, yes. Are they going to single him up again? I mean, they clearly want to go to Buckner. They've got Hill in the slot now, at the bottom of your screen on the hash. Dan Buckner at the top of your, those are the two guys that are the threats for Arizona. And off, walking in, touchdown, Carey. 
And oh yeah, don't forget about Kadeem Carey. You know, <laughs> you're looking to throw the ball, you kind of bring it in a little bit, and all of a sudden Kadeem Carey comes out of the pile and walks in untouched. That was the biggest hole of the day. You could have fit 13 Kadeem Carries through that hole. What a game for Rich Rodriguez. He's in a battle, of course, with David Shaw across the field. 39-34. They line up for two. Got it. Austin Hill has done it all today. And Arizona connects on the two-point conversion. They now own a 41-34 lead. More to come. Stay tuned on Fox. Arizona, 41. Stanford, 34. 12.29 to go here on Fox. The first of two. A doubleheader day. Later on, West Virginia, Texas. Well, we thought that was going to be a shootout. We got one here in, in Stanford. Montgomery. Watch out. 2025 wrapped up and a great return out to the 29 yard line. Under 12 minutes of play here in a shootout. Dunas, good protection out the middle of the field and the ball on the hands of Montgomery. It comes out. Arizona recovers at the 45 yard line. There's the turnover that we talked about. You mentioned it, and Montgomery puts the ball on the turf. The official has already signaled Montgomery is out of the pile. And another signal, Arizona ball, plus territory at the 45. My goodness, what a huge play. Watch Nunes step up, and he finally finds him late over the middle. Good pass, good catch, but then the ball's just in one arm. And he's being drug around by that defense. The ball is stripped. It's on the ground. And Arizona with the biggest play defensively of the day, Craig. Now the question, what will Arizona do with the football? Up by a count of 41-34. They'll start at the 45 after the fumble. Ball carrier is Kadeem Carey, who will not go down. Just a little push from his teammates to the 41 yard line. Craig, you, you said it, you know, the one mistake is this game when it's back and forth and back and the one mistake gets magnified. We just saw it from Stanford. Will their defense be able to bail out Ty Montgomery and hold Arizona, even if they hold him to a field goal attempt, that'd be a huge success for this defense. It's not been able to do so thus far in this second half. High snap, take it down. Ball batted down and it's incomplete. Ben Gardner, Gardner that is at 6-4, tip that pass. And now the biggest play so far in the day, third and six. Stanford's defense has been shredded for 557 yards. And we still got basically 11 minutes in the fourth quarter. Will they get off the field? Expect some pressure. Blitz to the flat, the screen. One miss and another for Dean Carey. First down inside the 20 yard line. Here's Carey. They're just going to run the screen. It's the blitz from Stanford, just as we expected against man to man coverage. And when the linebacker, A.J. Tarpley, is unable to get Carey down, he was the man to man player, and it's off to the races. Huge conversion for the Wildcats. You know, the, the key play, the fact that Kadeem Carey ran through the tackle of Jordan Richards, the strong safety. It's first down at 10 at the 17 yard line. Ball carrier again. Carey that had no answer for number 25 this afternoon. The depth in this league is just astounding. Kadeem Carey. No one's talked about him all year. Petro says he's the most underrated player in the conference, and now I'm completely sold. He is the most underrated player in the entire Pac-12. He's been fantastic today. Plays the Pac-12 and touchdowns. He'll get the ball again. His time 
Stanford finds him and drops him at the nine. Carey came in averaging 107 yards a game. 5.5 yards per carry. Against Oregon State in that loss, he carried it 17 times, going for 115 yards and two touchdowns. And today he's a workhorse. Totoki in the ball game. The fullback. Will they give it to Kadeem Carey? He's carried them all second half. Third down and a long one. They go up top. Touchdown, Terrence Miller. Single coverage. And Scott able to put it on the hands of Miller. What a play. Because that's good coverage from Wayne Lyons. Terrence Miller makes it a 47-34 game with a PAT to come. The PAT by Bonanno. And Arizona has stunned his homecoming crowd. Nine minutes to play. Stanford has been just completely unable to get themselves off the field defensively. Even when they do get into third down situations, they can't stop Arizona. Montgomery, one yard deep, has a seam, takes it, 30, breaks it, 35, flag is out, 50. Montgomery at the 40, still on his feet, but a flag back at the 35-yard line. And Stamper's drive continues at the 42-yard line of Arizona. Plenty of time to throw. The Cardinal find a seam, and Nunes drills that ball in a Terrell who makes the catch. And they're going to move the chains again. Now, Stanford finding a little life here. Plenty of time. Clock running up on eight minutes to go. You see all the Arizona players. You see them running down the screen with the tight ends to the middle of the field. It's because of the production of those two great tight ends. It's going to leave the outside open for the wide receivers. They have to step up late in this game. We'll take the snap from the 28-yard line. Low snap. Nunes in traffic. Finds a man. Ty Montgomery wiggles three at the 20 yard line, a pickup of eight. And Petros, it's clear now the wide receivers are the ones that's going to have to step up because of the coverage being implemented on those tight ends. They're being bracketed cover bracket coverage on the middle. That means double teamed in the middle of the field, leaving one on one coverage for the wide receivers. Second down, call it two. As Dunas drops back, throws up top. Incomplete as he looked like Herbs got turned around, try to recover, and as incomplete, granted the free safety on coverage on that tight end. Here comes Jake Fisher on the blitz, and he was the one putting pressure on Josh Nunes, didn't allow him to complete that throw. He threw it well before he wanted to, and that's why Ertz was turned around in the backfield, and there was actually an opportunity there for Brandon to come away with an interception. How about over a thousand total yards on this one today? 598 for Arizona. And 483 for Stanford. They want more up top. Knocked away as they went for the big fella Toyololo. This has to be four down territory for Stanford to throw it on third and short when the identity of this team is toughness, strength, and running the ball. Clearly, they were going to go for it on fourth down, which they are just out of the reach of Toy Lolo. Now, this is basically the game with Arizona playing as well as they played on offense. And here comes the big package for Arizona, the big, fresh defensive lineman coming in the ball game. Fourth and short, game on the line. Right alongside is Stephon Taylor. They want to throw. They do. Slam inside. Toilolo at the one yard line and the Cardinal in business first and goal. Man to man with the blitz, leaving the 6 8 tight end one on one on the outside with Shaquille Richardson. And Toilolo wins the battle. What a throw. Put the game on the line on the right shoulder of Josh Nunes, and he comes through for you. Levine Toilolo, Toilolo five for 141. And a touchdown, 28 yards on average. Here's a keeper. Touchdown, Nunes. And Stanford will not.
not go away. Power option. Nunez finds a crease and takes it for the touchdown. What an answer from Stanford. Crucial. Extra point on its way off the foot of Williamson. Good snap, hold, the kick is up and good. What do you know? 48-41, Arizona on Fox. They've got to think about just dropping eight in coverage and trying to force Arizona to earn their way down the field defensively because they're going to have to do something other than what they have been doing and then a oh. kick out of bounds. Oh boy. My goodness. The Stanford crowd trying to get their homecoming fans on their feet. It's a seven point game with just over six and a half to play. They need a stop against Arizona. And they get one as they stuff the middle. Nowhere to run for Kadeem Carey. And he has run three throughout this ball game. And Shane Scove, one of their emotional leaders, comes up with a huge first down stop. He's your linebacker right here. Watch him fill the hole and stuff Kadeem Carey. One of the first times they've been able to really stop him on first down all day long. Kadeem Carey, 26 carries, 120 yards, over four and a half yards a touch. No gain, second down. Cardinal show blitz. They come. The ball is tipped and batted down. That's an incomplete pass. That stops the clock. 3-10. That's like burning a timeout. You get a free one. 5.57 to go. Ben Gardner gets his mitts up to stop that pass. And Rich Rodriguez has a huge decision to make. Who gets the ball? Austin Hill at the bottom of your screen. Dan Buckner along with them, both at the bottom of your screen. Let's find out. Matt Scott sets up in the gun. Two-step drop, fires it far side and overthrows. Slavin was the intended receiver, and Stanford gets the hold. Three and out, a rare three and out for Arizona in this ball game. Two of the more critical plays in this game. All of a sudden, you've said the name Tyler Slavin. He hasn't done much the entire game. Only one catch for 13 yards. There's a guy named Dan Buckner and Austin Hill that have been the absolute engines of this offense all day long. They've got to see the ball on that third down. Kyle Dugansic with the punt. Gets it away. Terrell, 15-yard line. Finds the scene, breaks a tackle, but is tripped up at the 21-yard line. And a Ricky Seal out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That stops the clock. 4:33 to go. Might be wondering why in the world would they hand the ball off then? Well, they just got 10 yards. You always get half of it back. You hear me say it all the time. Keep lock right here from Hewitt gets the man onto the ground and Seal has the opportunity then to get outside and to the boundary to stop the clock after getting back to a second and 11. Now yeah, Seal comes out Taylor back in the lineup alongside Nunes. <laughs> Pedals back looks across the middle of the field found it on the hands of Patterson. Two plays just what do you think Joel Sanford in big trouble they move the chains and a first down at the 47. And they found something with these deep in cuts, the 20 yard in cuts from the outside wide receivers. And Rashad Patterson on that play gives his body to the quarterback a very good route of settling down in that zone and allowing the easy completion. Nunes now at 344 yards passing, a high stepping. Stephon Taylor, he'll pick up two to midfield. The clock still not a factor, not with the clock stopping with first downs in college football. They still have one timeout left, so they can run the ball still. Everything at Pep Hamilton's disposal as the Andrew Luck, director of offense. Clock nearly a three and a half to play. Got to call him by his right title. That's right. That is how it's listed. One timeout for Stanford. Three of Arizona would need them down the stretch at midfield. It's a seven point game and a shootout on homecoming at Stanford. Pedaling back, Nunes, pressure. Pocket collapses. Needs help, finds it. And the ball is out. Incomplete. Oh, they got fortunate there. 
First of all, throwing with a defender around your legs, never a good idea. Then that was perilously close to being a backwards pass, which could have ended up being a fumble and Arizona ball. I thought Josh Nunez got away with one there. Now he's got to make a play, and guess who comes back on the field? Levine and Toy Lolo. When they needed a play, it's been big number 11, the 6'8 tight end. Third down. That midfield from the gun. Nunez on the ball now. He's got room to run. Cuts back. 35 and out of bounds. Stops the clock with 3.03 to go. Nunez cut back on the scramble. You almost never see it from a quarterback to go back towards the middle of the field, but it pays dividends. Number two, Flowers falls down, and Nunez scampers for the first down. Fresh downs at the 34 from the eye. Hand it off. Here comes Tate up the middle. Put a hand down and got an extra yard. A pickup of eight. Now that's Stanford football on first down, and now is when you might see a nice big play action pass. You've got Toilolo who's going to line up as the top tight end. Hewitt's in the ball game as the fullback. 111 yards on the ground for Taylor. Gets the handoff, wiggles to the middle, and a first down to the 21. The clock. Will stop as they set the chains. 2.20 to go. What a series. What a series from Nunez. He's still raw. I mean, you can tell he, he's still very inexperienced. But boy, he has battled his butt off here today and put his team in position to win this game. Fresh downs, 22 yard line. Nunez sets and throws. Can't open over the top. Perfect ball from Nunes. I thought Toy Lolo should have grabbed that one. Right over his left shoulder. The coverage was not there for Toy Lolo. He had the opportunity, didn't bring it in. Well, they got the isolation, they got the man coverage, but he couldn't take advantage. Two wide receivers, top of your screen, alongside Nunes is Taylor. On second down. Little delay. Taylor stacked up after a two yard game to the 20 yard line. Make sure you stay tuned. Immediately after our game, the ATT Fox College Saturday game break show will follow us. The preview, of course, West Virginia, Texas. That's coming up on our second game of our doubleheader. And more highlights LSU, Florida down in the swamp. Stay tuned. Third down, Tunis. In the pocket over the top. Again through the hands of Toilolo. And McKnight had the opportunity for the interception. Would have ended the game. And now it's fourth down. It's four down territory. They got to score a touchdown. Stanford will take their last time out. Nunez twice now is putting the ball in position for Toilolo to make plays. Just unable to bring it down for the big man, 6'8". No timeouts remaining, fourth down and eight. Ball game on the line, Stanford down seven. Nunes over the middle, wide open. On the hands is Ertz. The tight end comes through, first and goal at the four-yard line. Here's Toy Lolo, he's gonna come across the screen. Clearing it out for Ertz. That's exactly what I was talking about. It's just the opposite guys. Toilolo comes underneath and clears it out. Opens up the zone in the middle of the field. And there's Zach Ertz. That's what Nunez wanted to do was play in the middle of the field. And he got the look that he wanted. Now inside the five, first down. And it inside one minute to play. Behind Nunez is Stephon Taylor. Nunez. Get much better than that from Josh Nunez. And 
David Shaw says, we play with power. You got to have confidence. He told us a to play for the Stanford Cardinal. And that was a confident Josh Nunez who just rolled in. Now the extra point to tie it. Williamson up and good. And we're tied at 48. Guys, it doesn't get much better than that. Stanford kicks it away. Under a minute left to this one. As the five yard line is Jimmy. He spins out of the tackle then takes a seat down inside the 20 at the 17. Again the handoff up the middle. Oh. No, I'm surprised like you to the 26. No timeout nice shot. He's going to leave two up on the board as the clock winds down. Unbelievable. Regulation has just come to an end. We're tied at 48. 48 all Arizona Stanford. I got it. Well, a game of big plays and hard hits has taken us to overtime 48 48. And Arizona will have the football on the toss. They've had a lot of momentum here in the second half. Led by Matt Scott. He's in the gun. Here we go. Overtime it is. They put it on the hands of Austin Hill, who's had a terrific game. He'll make his way to the 18 yard line. Often in overtime, it comes down to the kicking game. John Bonanno, the kicker for Arizona, has struggled this year. While Jordan Williamson has had his troubles himself for the Stanford Cardinal. Of course, Williamson was the kicker who missed the field goal last year in the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma State. Well, he missed three straight, Bonanno, but he's made two in a row today. Second down on the ground, right up the gut. And Kadeem Carey. Takes the Cardinal to the 13 yard line. And a first down for Matt Scott in Arizona. Stanford has just had to commit so many resources to stopping Dan Buckner and Austin Hill, the two wide receivers. It's allowed Kadeem Carey to really own the middle of the field. Four wide receivers set. Carey alongside Scott as he has been most of the afternoon. Stanford showing blitz on the edge. Play action, slingshot, far side on the hands. And it's caught by Richard Morrison. One of the slot backs. We've seen a lot of Johnny Jackson and Austin Hill today. And how about Richards with the open field tackle, a crucial open field tackle on first down, getting the ball carrier down to the ground. Now second down on the far hash. Ball tipped and complete. And that will bring up a third down. Oh, what a huge down. Stanford has been unable to make a play on third down. Their defense has been on the field for 102 plays. Can they make a stop on 103? Third down, 14 yard line. In overtime, Scott from the gun. Looks over the middle of the field again. The ball is batted. And Stanford has the interception of the six yard line. And they get the play that they need on snap 103 of the day. Chase Thomas, the All American, the captain, comes up with it. That was Henry Anderson, number 91, who got his hand on it. Chase Thomas there to get the interception and Stanford only needs a field goal to win this game and for the 15th straight game Stanford's D scores a takeaway and now the Cardinal will start at the 25 yard line yeah you're going to see Stephon Taylor and probably after that Williamson Bill goals coming in 7 of 11 they hand the ball off to Stephon Taylor, who is taken down by Shoestring at the 22. You're not going to see a pass on this series. There is absolutely no reason to. David Shaw, he told us he trusts his kicker. I know he's had a hard time. He's hit some big field goals in his career, but this is going to be Taylor until they have to run Jordan Williamson on the field. Under center goes Nunes. On second down, call it seven. He'll hand it off up the middle. Break away. 
Stephon Taylor. See ya. Touchdown. Stanford takes it in overtime. for David Shaw and heartbreak for Rich Rodriguez. Arizona sold out to try to stop the run. And Stephon Taylor finds himself in the end zone and David Shaw and the Cardinal win it in overtime. Downstairs we go. Petros with the head coach, David Shaw. Coach, talk about the character of your team, overtime victory, and your quarterback, Josh Nunes, he grew up today. You know, I, I think he did. You know, he, he went through a lot last week. He did not play well. He came back with a mindset that he was going to play his best football today, and he did that. Congratulations, Coach. Great victory. Hey, hey just another game in the Pac-12, right? Yeah, that's how it is. Thank, thank you. you. Craig? All right, thank you, Petros. What a game. Stanford survives in overtime. 54-48 for Joe Platt. Petros Papadakis, our entire Fox crew. I'm Craig Bowlerjack saying so long.